What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Realistic Career Mode. We are in November, and as you can see, we have a big Merseyside derby coming up in the first game of this episode. Who we will be playing this episode? As you saw, we have Everton in a cup game. We have Newcastle. That's the Carabao Cup. Uh, we'll definitely put out the backup, backup squad for that. Also have Manchester City, have the game against USG, uh, Brighton, and Arsenal. So we are looking to probably play Everton, City, and Arsenal, and simulating the other three games for this month. So let's dive right in and hopefully go kick the shit out of Everton. Have a Scotland offer here, probably won't accept that. Looking for uh, a pretty decent uh, European team because I don't... Because South America, none of those, like, cups are in this game. And everyone knows, like, the international scene is kind of lacking on this game. Off of five straight losses. Uh, so they're definitely not in good form. You have uh, the Portuguese Virginia, uh, Goodmanson, Maripan, Malinkovic, and Cash. That make up the back four. Uh, Pinho, Busima, Garner, Jovan Jensen make up that kind of four or five midfield. Uh, and Beto up top. You have Basuma and Garner playing that holding midfield. So hopefully let's go out and make it six straight losses. We are a little tired, so might make some subs, uh, but I don't think we have the players to do so. But um, playing our strongest team against Everton. And sure, why not? Let's bring in Nat Phillips for this game. We cross Stanley Park for the Merseyside Derby. Shabolsley ever just able to step in and take it from Garner. Sangre. Salah. Not offside. Trent. We were offsides when that shot was taken, but great start by us. I was hoping that Trent shot was actually able to get through that traffic. That would have been a screamer. Oh, not the pass. Not the pass. Beto is off. Beto is off. Allison able to come out and make the save. But Virgil gets it back. Van de Ven out for a corner. Allison, good on you. What a save that was. Because Beto was out here. Yeah. Catch that. I want to trend in that little pocket, but we have Sala. Gakpo! Goal! It was saved, but not saved well enough. Cody Gakpo able to get the goal to open up the scoring. 1-0 Liverpool. Let's go. I'm still, like, on the fence of Gakpo as my main striker. He's tall, he's fast, but he's just, like, I want, like, a physicality that just isn't there with him a lot of the time. Like, that's Beto. That's the Everton striker that just stepped in with that tackle. Liao. Gakpo! Offside. And totally fluffed the shot anyway. And that's going to do it for halftime. We take a narrow lead, but a lead nonetheless in the derby to halftime. On... The back of that man, Cody Gakpinkovic, intercepted. Leal. Leal, saved by Virginia. And booted back into play. Come on, Sangare, pay attention. Mo, Mo, 
right at the keeper, saved up in the air, and able to reclaim the second save as well. 65 minutes played, 1-0 Liverpool. We are still on top. We, I mean, Everton is, they've almost stung us more than once, so we just need to just stay on top of kind of putting them under pressure. Dwight McNeil, Beto. Beto runs into Virgil. And tries to chip Allison, but chips the entire goal. That's one of those moments. Like, he's been one on one with the keeper twice. He's fluffed both of them. I keep thinking that's Michael Keane, who is as slow as molasses. And it's not, it's Matty Cash. McAllister with the shot. McAllister with the goal. What a shot. Bringing some Argentine flair into the Merseyside Derby. What a workhorse he is, workhorse he is for us. Bringing on some subs. Uh, Shabozhlai was definitely super gassed uh, after the, the Champions game midweek, but... Bringing in Diogo Jota, Eberiche Eze, and Savio for Salah. It's usually a good thing when a player doesn't stand out in a negative way. Oh, Jota with the block. Jota's out. Diogo with the goal. He doesn't miss. 3-0. We put them under pressure with a high press, forced a mistake and a turnover, and we were able to capitalize with a goal. He was definitely in. I don't think he scored for me playing since um, that like opening, the first game I played with him in. Not a huge thing, but we do come away with a victory against Everton away. Another three points, a clean sheet, and we march on. And did you see that? City lost to Villa at home. Finally, James has been sold to Norwich. Having Trent, if this was again a team in La Liga, I would definitely accept it, but it's West Ham, so we're going to reject there you have it. What grade did we get on this transfer? A D. Because we could have got 500k more. Just wanted him out of the club. So I know it's unfair to him in real life because he's been a promising player for us in real life. Um, but in the game, he just has no potential. Doesn't grow. So we kind of have to move on from him. So... Uh... Matthias Tell is the young player of the year. And Mbappe wins the Ballon d'Or in this save. I am wholeheartedly convinced that we are going to lose against Newcastle. It's the backups. None of them seem to be in form. And I'm going to be starting Quivem Kelleher uh, instead of Allison, who is gassed. Um, but... I don't really see this going well for us. And it does not. We lose 2-0 at home. Shalai gets hurt. Uh, and a yellow card, but we lose 2-0. As you see, Manchester City was able to move on. Newcastle's moving on. Bournemouth beat Wolves 2-0. Um, Spurs beat Cardiff 2-1. Uh, United lost to Fulham. Not sad to see that at all. Uh, and then a few games left to be played. As you see, Shalai's injury is only going to last 10 days with a damaged foot. Um, definitely fortunate for a shorter term injury. It's roughly two weeks. Um, so that's good there. We have an offer for Kumetio. Going to accept that. We will delegate this and a short loan for Tyler Morton. And the scouting report for the week is absolute trash. We've been scouting him for two months. 
doesn't look that great, but I'll keep him uh, on this kind of report just a little bit longer. So, uh, Van de Ven has been in great form, and he's saying he's loving his football, so that's good to see. In terms of the standings, 10 games in, we sit atop by two points. We still haven't lost yet. Um, that might be the theme of the save uh, as well, but who knows? Back-to-back -back undefeated seasons in two different leagues. That would be pretty crazy. Um, Newcastle in second at 24 points. City in third. Um, both of those teams, they either win or lose. Majority of the time win. C City scored 21 goals. Newcastle 27. Uh, we are the second highest scoring team in the league with the second best defense. Uh, next to Spurs, who sit in fourth at 23 points. So the top... Four, definitely within three points. Top five within seven. So definitely still a close race after 10 games. Villa sitting there in six with 17 points. In the bottom three so far, 10 games in, you have Burnley, Leicester, and Everton all sitting on seven points with Wolves, Luton, and Chelsea. 15 through 20 separated by two points. 13 by 4 points. Bottom is looking tight. We hope... I mean, it would be a hell of a thing if Chelsea goes down. That would be pretty crazy. Looking at, actually, Lucas Stevenson's uh, play styles, I've decided to take him off the transfer list and put him on the loan list and loan him out again. The City team that, in their last five game actually have two... Five games, they have two losses... They have Erling Holland, who's hurt, which is, don't wish injury on anyone, but a blessing for us. Uh, so their starting 11, presumably, is going to be Ederson, Gaia, Stones, Ruben Diaz, Zal Cancelo, Frankie de Jong, Kevin De Bruyne, Mateo Kovacic, uh, Phil Foden on the left, Bernardo on the right, and Maroonchuk up top. Our team, you know the drill. Uh, Allison, Van de Ven, Van Dijk, Gomez make up the back three, Sangari and Trent. Then we have Leal, Eze, Sabochelai, Salah, and Gakpo up front. I just love that De Bruyne updated face. And I love this song. Let's go, you'll never walk alone. Huge game against City at home. We will need Anfield for this one. Trent, Saboshloy, Salah, Gakpo, saved by Ederson. Our first real build, our first real shot, should have been our first real goal. But great way to start the game. Cross in. Gomez up, right at Ederson. And you can hear, I don't know if it's going to come through the microphone, them playing or singing a lace. As I with the footwork, lay out with the cross. If Gakpo, if Gakpo attacks that a little bit harder, you never know. But Ederson collects. I think that was Van de Ven that won the header. Gaia turns it over to... So Boschloy and Salah is away. Salah saved by Ederson. I see Trent. And just kicks it at the feet of De Bruyne. Okay. Oh, get up, Singari. Do not fall. Phil Foden back to Gaia. Ruben Dias. Salah able to step in. Can we do something? Gakpo! Coming wide open! Great assist by Sala! Great way to get on the board! Let's go! We were the first to score! Sala. See Shabosloy. Shabosloy! With a stinger just right at Ederson. We're able to win that. I see. Layout. Woo! 
with his weaker foot buzzes the tower, as they say. De Jong able to lose it and then block box me out. But Sala. And that is it for halftime. We take a 1 0 lead into the half, which is huge. Uh, Liverpool are on top. Let's go. Oh, that's. Oh, he's offside. Oh, my God. Sebastian is offside. I was like, that's got to be a foul against someone. Uh, Maroon Chu coming in or leaving the field for Jeremy Doku. Happy he finally has a real face, too. It's like, I know what you did last summer. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? De Bruyne. Doku back to Ruben Dias. Kovacic. Kovacic strong through the challenge. Gaia had Doku, but I think he had just ventured a little bit off sides. But it, it feels dangerous. It is. It feels like City are just waiting. 123 to 79 in total passes. <laughs> As you can see, like, look at this passage of play right here. This is... Bro, we can't even get near the ball. Like, I might put this entire patches of play in the edit because it's just <laughs> like they literally haven't let me touch the ball in the last 13 minutes. 13 in game minutes. They didn't let me touch the ball, but they did not go past midfield really, like that middle third. We do come away with the victory because City just decided to pass us to death and not go forward, which is crazy. Another three points for us, another loss for them. Our march goes on. Still undefeated also. Looks like Shalai is already back from injury, which is good good news for us. Uh, and the English scouting report, nothing of real note here. He's only worth 550k, which is disappointing uh, since he actually had green in his numbers. Um, it's so rare to see, like, how much is that guy worth? 10, 10k? Uh, all of these folks will be rejected. With the backup brigade, we are able to actually stomp out Union St. G, uh, 4 to 1 to put us in a very strong position to move on to the knockout rounds. Goal scorers were Savio, Shalai, who came back from injury, Savio with the double. Arnau did get hurt, which is disappointing, and Alaba scored a goal as well. What a dominating performance by us, and again, it puts us in huge, strong position to move on to the knockout rounds. Again, good for us. Arnau's only hurt for seven days, so a week, uh, which is huge. We'll don't need any long-term injuries, and we haven't gotten any so far. Coming into match day 11, we are match day 12, actually, uh, against Brighton away. We have 29 points. We still have zero losses. Spurs have moved up. They are in second now uh, with 26 points. City down to fourth. Um, but the top four is still only separated by five total points. Um, so definitely still a, cl a close race. After four group games in the Champions League, we sit top of the group with 10 points in a very, very, very strong position. What happened is exactly what we wanted after those two games. Uh, Juve and Leverkusen drew both of those games. So with two games left to play six points, we only need, I think, a point against uh, Leverkusen in our next game, and that guarantees us to the knockout rounds. Things happening in other groups. Uh, in Group B, Feyenoord's up top, uh, which is shocking to see. PSG down in third. Um, that is strange to see. Uh, Rangers haven't won a game. Um, kind of terrible. Byron uh, at top. Kind of the same landscape as our group with Napoli in second lens. Looking to maybe move down into the Europa League. Manchester City top their group with four straight wins. Dortmund sitting second with seven points. Monaco in third with four. And Shakhtar Donetsk. Haven't won a game. Shocking to me. 
Barcelona sit at the top of their group with Fenerbahce in second, Man United in third, Malmo in last. Um, wouldn't hate it if Malmo just went on a streak. Group F, uh, Madrid sit top of the group undefeated. Uh, Benfica only taking that one loss against Madrid, and it looks like Celtic and Marseille both sit with one draw, probably against each other, and three losses um, on the other way around, which is not looking good for Marseille. Arsenal sit atop of their group with Villarreal right on their heels. Inter with only three points. Uh, that is kind of odd to see. Three, uh, One win, three losses, and Copenhagen sitting last. Roma, top of their group. Uh, happy for them. Atletico in second, Porto in third, and Strum Graz. Haven't won a game yet, uh, but it's definitely very close between Roma and uh, Atletico Madrid. Looking at the Brazilian scouting report for this month, um, the one player I thought was actually going to be good isn't, so we're going to be rejecting everyone. We go on the road and we smash Brighton. 70% possession, uh, we don't give up a single shot, and we shoot 25 times. What a game this would have been to watch. Rafael Leao gets a goal. Um, who else got goals? Gakpo and Leao with the double. Uh, so good to see him back on uh, scoring terms on the score sheet. Tyler Morton has agreed to a loan uh, to Lincoln City. Want to get him some more playing time, so allowed him to go out on loan. Lucky for us, it looks like Holland came back with a vengeance and Manchester City beat Chelsea 3-0. Which is huge. Like, we didn't have to face him, um, which is not a sight for sore eyes, as they say. Or is it a sight for sore eyes? One of the two. The Arsenal team that we will be facing off in this match day, based on their form of a draw, two losses, and two wins, they are pretty much middle of the road. It looks like Gabriel and Kieran Tierney are hurt. Um, with Ramsdale between the posts, uh, Miguel, Ben White, Saliba, and Masrauhi making up the back four. Uh, the midfield three are Jorginho, Odegaard, and Declan Rice. Martinelli, Jesus, and Saka are the typical front three. We will be playing our strongest team against Arsenal, minus bringing in Diogo Jota for Cody Gakpo, but that is it. Um, debating if I bring Savio in for Salah, but I'll probably just bring him off the bench. Can we do it? Can we make it all the way to November undefeated? With the last game of the episode, a home game against Arsenal. Do we have what it takes? Trent outside. Sabalshle is running. Beats Ben White. Let's get it up to Mo. I see Eze. But Liao comes in and header off target. Just barely. Oh my word. That would have been a goal. Runs into Sangare. Oh, Diogo Jota. Can't beat Saliba. Jorginho. Out wide to Miguel. Back to Ben White, who fluffs it, almost gives it up to Ziogo Jota. Ramsdale, who is prone to a mistake in real life. Not in the game, I don't think. Sangari able to step in. Van de Ven, Virgil. Van de Ven. See Eze. Oh, can we get Ben White? No, we cannot. But we can turn over Declan Rice. Can Liao? Can Liao? Liao saved by Ramsdale. And then Masrawi able to block the shot. Was trying to, from outside the box, chip the keeper with Singare, but. Oh, he's in behind. Diogo Jota with the shot. Diogo Jota with the goal. Putting Liverpool ahead in the 40th something minute. I don't care. What a goal. Oh, 
What a goal to beat Ramsdale. We knew we were going to need something special today, and we got that from Diogo Jota. And it was the 45th minute, so right on the stroke of halftime. That's got to be a back-breaking... No. Mo beats Gutierrez. Mo, and they're going to call handball on William Saliba. Trying to, like, clip it over to the back post and get Leal some goals. What is his penalty? 64. Well, Mo it is. Mo, top left. And he beats Ramsdale. 2-0. Let's go! The title challenge marches on. Me, as a manager, I'm pretty sure this is... 13 league games in the Premier League and then 38 league games in Italy so that is 50 oh, sorry trying to do math and play defense at the same time uh, not the greatest 51 league games we are undefeated straight Okay. Sometimes when they just get a leg in there, it's like crazy. Like, how did you even... Berardi with a wild shot, but a great move by Arsenal. Arsenal really want a goal. And Arsenal get a goal. They put me under pressure. Like... Goal for Jesus. That's... I had nowhere to go with the ball. Like, all of a sudden, they just turn it up on you. As a... And Sala lets us down with the cross! Oh my word! What kind of cross was that? Sangare. This is edges of our seats here. Edges of our seats here. And then they go backwards with the ball. Doing nothing but securing the Liverpool victory. 2-1. to one. Let's go. We remain undefeated. And we get all three points. One thing I did notice. We don't use subs a lot. I uh, should definitely start being better about using those... Looking at the Premier League right now, 13 games in, we set a top by 5 points over Manchester City, who we just beat in today's episode, and Spurs, uh, they both sit 2nd and 3rd at 30 points. In the Champions League, as you saw just before we navigated over to the league table, we sit atop of our group, um, but we moving into a game with Leverkusen right now, uh, well, in the next episode, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure a point there, we end up taking it, uh, securing our knockout round, so three points definitely secures it, so definitely looking to win that return leg uh, as we lost in, or drew in Germany. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. This is Zombie Joystick Game, and I'm out. Peace.